Gary was the place you went to shop. And when it was a very successful community, we either drove there, my parents drove us there, or when we got a little older, we would just take the bus to downtown Gary. And there was every kind of shop you could think of. And at Christmas time, it was uh, shoulder to shoulder walking up to down the street doing Christmas shopping. It was thriving. I grew up in a lake station, which it was East Gary when I grew up in it. And in originally it was Lake Station back in the 1800s and early 1900s. And then uh, they changed their name to East Gary when, you know, the mills were starting to go and they wanted the executives to move there, so they changed it. Then when things got bad in Gary, they uh, changed it back to Lake Station. I thought that is very telling. It was a typical um, suburban kind of neighborhood. It was very working class. In fact, they were going to high school there. Everybody's parents uh, made about the same amount of money. <laughs> they worked in the mills. So in that way, it was probably different than a lot of other places because none of us were aspiring to be the rich kid in school. There were no rich kids in the school. Patrick and I were married in 1966, and uh, we moved to Miller in 1967, and we moved with a young baby. Um, at that time, Miller was thriving. Uh, the downtown area had every kind of store you can think of. It was jewelry stores and bookstores and coffee shops and dress shops and uh, Jack Spratt's ice cream uh, shop, which was drew people from all over. And it was the funnel to the beach. I mean, hundreds of people would come to the beach uh, during the summer from all over. It started to change <coughs> Uh, really in the 70s and with so many things, early 70s, late 60s, early 70s, um, with all of the things that were going on nationally and um, locally, uh, you know, the war had an impact on the economy, um, the Vietnam War. Uh, the mills were at their heights and then started, you know, the economy was changing, the technology was changing so that less people were needed in the mills, um, and the whole suburban sprawl had an impact on little downtowns like Miller. It happened everywhere in the country, and it certainly happened here in Indiana with the other small communities. So at some point, um, there weren't a lot of businesses on the street, and those that were weren't thriving. A lot of the people left. They moved to Munster. That's how Munster got built. Um, and the people who stayed uh, are still here. Um, but the whole dynamics of the community changed. The money went with them. You know, Munster's a thriving town. Uh, Merrillville is in much better shape than Gary. So, yeah, that's the impact. If Gary doesn't thrive, the rest of the area doesn't thrive. And I think that is critically important. We can't have part of our population barely surviving. The city of Gary has all the infrastructure, you know, the steel mills. It has so much going for it. We can't ignore it. It's like, it's like somebody in your family who has cancer and you, you're just going to ignore them because it's not going to affect you. Well, it is going to affect you. We all need to be good neighbors, and it's not just in Gary and Lake County, but in Porter County, in Indiana. As a country, we have to not be so polarized because nobody's moving ahead.